Maple Zine. Today I am doing a Jack and Sally body paint. So I'm using primarily Made You Look um, spotty paints, but this light blue is actually from Mayron Makeup, and that's just because I didn't feel like mixing paint. Uh, same with the pink-ish Melanie color, that's also from Mayron, and that's in the Tropical palette. This one's just a standalone one that I have. All the rest are Made You Looks. Um, so I'm just starting off on the Sally side, putting in the blue, just everywhere where blue happens and i kind of have a rough sketch of where jack and sally kind of are sitting but i do adjust things like as i go um i did start out wearing a red wig but uh chat decided that the that it wasn't working just against the um jack side the red just was not working for us so we ended up switching to a black wig and I did try to edit the pictures to have a red split dye, but it just it just didn't work out against the black background. So that's why I have black hair. Um, but I'm just going through and filling in everything that is for Sally. Um, so I did the white for the eye, and I'm going in with all the yellow patches. I realized technically the side of Sally that has the cut over the eye is actually on the yellow and green section but considering i wanted to do the pattern i moved the um the cut to the other side so just so that way um it was more it just had that like the flavor i don't know how to describe it. not the flavor you know what i mean like it just had more of the pattern from sally's dress versus just the kind of solid block colors that she had on that side um so that's why i ended up doing that and then i just did a block out for the neck and the body area with black i did the same thing over on jack's side put a little bit of bl black paint in my eye socket but i'll go in and actually do that side when i get there so now i'm just using a um darkish red slash pink tone just to add some movement in the dress and then I'm taking a burnt orange, kind of yellow, mustardy yellow to do the stripes. And then a little bit of brown just to give it a little bit more definition. Because it's kind of more of that stripe pattern. And then just adding a few little like folds and stuff for where things go. And then I'm taking a darkish uh, slate blue to do um, the shadows um, from where the sleeve would touch um, Sally's arm and then just around the dress portion. Um, otherwise there's not much there. And then I'm doing using that same shade to kind of map out where um, the shadows of the stitches are gonna go. So I kind of did a ridge sort of say on each side of the stitch and then i'm going to fill that in later with using a black liquid liner and i just did um some blue on my lid just so in case you see it it's just kind of more pushed back and then i did that same ridge um a few centimeters away from the um cut over to jack's side which I really liked how this turned out. And then I used um, that mustardy yellow that I used for the um, other side for the stripes to do um, the cut type feel of the shirt too. Then I was using black to kind of go in and start doing some lines where all my stitches are going to go. So you'll see I kind of love that kind of ridge so it looks kind of raised. And then we're just going off of, I'm trying to go as close as I could to Sally's stitches just to make them all match and then I put a dark blue underneath just to give it a little bit of shadows and then at that point we put a little bit of white in our lip in our, in our lash line a red lipstick on and then I'm starting to do the stitches on the sleeve and then the pattern I don't it don't think this is 100% accurate from Sally, but it does look similar to this. As I said, it's trying to go for that Sally vibes without, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but I really liked how this turned out. 
and I'm just adding some more details, some shadows around the edges and whatnot, just to kind of make it all kind of stand out. And then just shadows under these stitches that I added, um, just around the sides, and then the kind of dual thing that I had going on throughout the entire look. So that is pretty much the Sally side done. So now we're going to move on to some lashes. Oh wait, we need lashes to finish up the look. I did big lashes on the top and then three um, small individual lashes on the bottom. Just to kind of give it more of a doll feel. And once that was done, we're moving on to Jack. So I started off with the white um, on my face and then in his shirt section um, as that kind of is where the white goes on Jack. Um, if I was going to do this look again, I would actually make a dark gray for his um, suit jacket because I ended up having to go back over everything that was black that was supposed to be his suit jacket with a gray shadow just so that way it stood out against the black um cut out piece that i was doing kind of how i did similar to how i did it on the sally side so if you're gonna do it try doing it i would do a dark gray not straight up black because otherwise it's gonna stand out weird and you're gonna have to go over it with a gray shadow in order to make it kind of sit sink back um so that way the black cut out stands out so i didn't do it initially you'll notice i do it later I'm um, just doing the pinstripes with a white liquid liner. And then I think it was roughly around this point, or it was in the next section. I think it was this point though, when I got to right about there, I realized my problem. Cause I was like, there's no way you can distinguish between the cutout piece and the suit jacket. So then I'm going back over everything with a gray to make it, try to make it look like they're two separate things so that's where you notice that pixie wanted to cuddle real quick so we gave her some cuddles and then we're going right back in with our lines if you ever see me go up to, this, to the uh surface it's just because i'm pulling down my um tube top and i'm not showing that anywhere because <laughs> that ain't the life we are about here <laughs> um then just adding in some shadows and I ended up using one shade and then ended up having to change it and go back and forth between white and gray and black because I accidentally grabbed a high, like a shadow that had glitter in it and that was not the look we're going for. It's roughly around here, right there. That was the problem when I put that white on it because it wasn't the white that I thought it was and then I had to go back and forth Quite a few times to make that fix but as i said um if i was gonna do it again do a gray for the suits don't do a black it can be really dark gray just don't just don't do just don't do black on black it's not gonna work you gotta do gray um next i'm doing his little black his black sorry his bat <laughs> bow tie so just filling that in and because I didn't make a gray, I just went over everything with the shadows and then we put in the pinstripes. I love, I love how Jack has the pinstripes everywhere. I just, it's such a vibe. I, I literally couldn't decide between if I wanted to do a Jack or Sally and that's why I ended up doing a mixture of both. And I really like how this turned out. Especially because then um, after we finished the jack section and I put um, shadows kind of just everywhere. So that way kind of things are sitting on top of other things. We ended up making a um, zero headpiece and you'll see it when we get there. I'm just putting the stitches right now and then filling in the um, eyes and nose. And I think I forgot initially to give Jack some lips before I moved on to finish up some more of the... Um, no, I remembered it there <laughs> to do the stitches, but then I'm just putting a black shadow on top of it, getting some black in my waterline, and then just continuing on with shadowing of the stitches that I kind of started, and I was like, oh wait, I missed a piece of Jack. So that, yeah, you'll see I'm just going back and forth on all of them. Every single stitch gets an under shadow, just to make it all pop from there, and then just get made sure that there's shadows on the mouth, 
and just kind of blending things in on Jack's side. And this is where we're kind of going back and forth between the wigs. As you can see, the red, the red looks right on Sally's side, but it looks odd to the Jack side. But at this point we hadn't switched it. I was making zero. I initially made it way too big and I had to make a second Jack, sorry, not Jack, second zero to put underneath. And I just cut that out with my scissors. And then I use a mixture of Sharpies and dry erase markers to, and then also I took a liquid liner to make a zero. And you'll see it when I pull it up. And then I ended up attaching that to a clip that I could then put in my hair. This is where we switched out the red wig for the black. And that is just because I don't have a split dye wig. I just, I couldn't pick one for the other. So we ended up just doing a black wig because it just worked better uh, against Jack. And then there's our little zero that's in the hair. And I love how it looks. Look at his face. He's so cute. But I love how this look turned out. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, do the YouTube things. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!